When your income is tied to an action, the amount that you can receive proportionately is minuscule. You are limited by the beliefs that you have about time and space. Right. In other words, you will say, I only, I only make this much per hour and there's only this many hours in a day. And then you can work overtime and you can work double time and you can work extra time and you can leverage your time in different ways. But until you leverage through alignment, you really are in the category with millions of other people where not very much is going to happen. Where if you say, okay, I'm willing to play the game differently I'm willing to accept on faith maybe a little that Abraham's right and that all of the struggling that I've done has put a lot of money for me in vibrational escrow and I'm willing to go on faith that this universe is abundance and that there is an open valve for me through which I can receive abundance I'm willing to go along with that idea and I'm willing to Play it that way for just a little while where instead of considering action in relationship to money I instead consider emotion in relationship to money how do I feel about money how do I feel about money I'm gonna leverage through emotion rather than bang it out through action I'm gonna leverage now that doesn't mean stop your action go to work do whatever you need to do let the money come in in the little pitiful mediocre way that it flows into your experience you, you don't want to pinch that off let it come but while it's coming appreciate it while it's coming look forward to it while it's coming uh, compliment yourself and compliment the others in other words let it be an energy game while you're living the action game because you can do both it doesn't have to be one or the other and then what you will begin to notice when you find ways of changing the way you feel about money for example when you go to purchase something and you're shocked at the cost of it this is a turning point moment for you this is a moment where you had a knee-jerk reaction that turns you right upstream mm -hmm. And a lot of people turn right upstream over something just like this but you can't let yourself have a knee-jerk reaction and be turned upstream and ever be in a position where things will be better for you you've got to soften this feeling don't buy today but plan to get it later and appreciate the beauty of it and hold it in your mind's eye when you're jealous of people who have money you've got a habitual pattern upstream when you're disappointed that you don't have money you've got a habitual pattern upstream when you're appreciative of the money you have even if it isn't very much you're flowing downstream when you're appreciative of the money you have when you have the when the money that you have feels good to you and you say to yourself things like it's good that I have this money and I'm proud of my myself for having brought this money into my experience and I'm a good budgeter of money and I like how far I've made my money go and I like I like the feeling of money and I like putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this I like this feeling of managing money and I'm good at managing money and I like this money and I'm looking forward to more money that is coming and as more money comes I'm gonna do this with it and this with it and, and the money that comes is gonna be fun in this way and this way and this way now no matter what your state of money there are people who have a lot more money than you do who are worried about it and have pinched themselves off there are people who have a lot less money than you do who are thrilled with it who have opened an avenue where there's abundance of money right on their doorstep you just got to find a way to feel good about whatever the subject is in this case money I have the power to turn in the stream and I don't need to put a motor on my boat and get all the way to the winning lottery ticket I just need to turn in the stream as often as I can be aware I just need to turn in the stream and now we want to leave you with something that is equally important which is I am where I am and that's okay I'm putting my boat in the stream where it is and everybody's up and down the stream putting their boat in the stream at different places it doesn't matter because you're not in competition with anyone for any resources the only thing that you if there is any competition at all and there isn't is the closing of the gap between the money you want and the money that you feel right now so when you change the way you feel about money even though there isn't any money that gives you the reason to feel the change in other words you got to find the feeling before you get the money and when you find the feeling you've turned in the stream and when you've turned in the stream you'll find the money feel better and then you'll get the money feel better and then you'll find the money feel better wanting to feel better is a reason to feel better wanting to feel better is a reason to feel better you've got to train your mind to focus in a way that feels better and only you can do it
It's all just about you closing the gap. And closing the gap is about feeling better right now, better right now, better right now which means I've made peace with where I am. And when you make peace with where you are, can you feel this? Feel this. I don't have enough money and I need more money and I should have done better and I should have applied myself better and I shouldn't have spent money on that thing and I shouldn't have taken that trip. And I shouldn't have spent this money and now I'm in trouble. That's not making peace with where you are. That's clubbing yourself about the head and it's upstream. Every bit of it is upstream. Whether it's factual or truthful or not, whether you're overdrawn or not, it doesn't matter. It's upstream and things can't get better. But when I am where I am and my attitude is, I'm going to make peace with where I am. Now, what does that mean? What does making peace with where I am mean? It means turn and go with the flow. It means let myself have what I deserve. Making peace with it means I'm all right. It means I'm not stupid. It means I didn't make mistakes. It means I embraced life. I went for the gusto. I looked for what I wanted. I lived large. I am adventurous. I am full of life. I do love life. Things are supposed to be good for me. This is supposed to, supposed to be a fun ride. I'm loving being here. I'm still in the same financial position that I was a few seconds ago, but now I've turned and I've gone with the flow. I made peace with where I am and in doing so I turned and went with the flow by beating up on myself I did the opposite it's about not digging up the past and trying to use it to justify why things are screwed up now it's about acknowledging that I am where I am and where I am is okay and everything that I am is as a result of everything that I've lived and source adores me right now so why not me why not me adoring me too? Why not me loving me? Why not me loving me enough to let the abundance flow, the abundance of clarity, the abundance of vitality, the abundance of money, the abundance of friends? Why not me allow that in me? Source is doing it. Source is doing it. And source is just the greater part of me. Why not me? And we say, you can do it, friends. It's the most natural thing in the world. You are pure positive energy beings. You've come forth into this experience. If there is anything that we can leave with you, it is this. We want you to remember how we feel about you so much that you feel that way too. We want you to no longer be afraid of anything because there isn't anything to be afraid of. So what? So what? I am where I am. We want you to not have enough money to pay your bills and say, I paid what I can pay. I'm doing the best that I can. We want you to let the comparison between who you really are and who you are be the only thing that matters. And we want you to factor out all of those naysayers and all of those who need you to be different so that they can feel better because you can't be different enough that they can feel better very long.